Hi, in this video we're going to talk about Windows 10 file history and file history is kind of their replacement for their shadow copy slash previous versions where it'll automatically make backups of changed files at increments that you could specify so if you need to go back and recover an older version of it you could do so. So to get there you just go to control panel and file history or you could click on start and type in file history and get to it that way and then probably from Cortana as well. So once you're here you're going to want to turn it on it's turned off by default and then what you want to do is there's several options here that we'll get to before we store personal files so the first one is you want to select a drive and then it's gonna give you the available drives that it finds in your system external drives or if you're on a network you could pick a network location and then if you want to exclude any folders you would go here and just add whatever folder. So if you don't want anything backed up, you know, unimportant stuff, you could just go pick the folders there and then it won't waste space backing those up. And then finally, advanced settings will tell you how often it's going to do it. The default is every hour. You could, you know, change it to something a little less often if every hour seems like too much for it to check. And then it keeps the files forever until you run out of space, obviously. But you could change that and then, you know, it'll purge them as needed or you could click this link and it'll clean up everything and delete all their backup copies. So now back on the restore personal files section we click on that and it'll show you the dates and the backup numbers so this is the most current one so you could see in the documents folder I made a file called recovery today and ran file history manually and you can see the last modified date was today, whereas if we go back to the previous copy, the last modification was 1030. So there was nothing on 1031, but on 11.1 there's a new version, so that's why the date changed on this newer one. So then you could go back you know, to whatever date and time you want. And let's say, let's go back to this new one here. Open it up and there's that file so let's say we wanted to let's say we deleted it on accident and we want to restore it you just highlight it go up to here and either click on restore which will restore it to the same location and if you have that file there it'll overwrite it or you click on restore too and you know copy it to your desktop or at a different location so you'll have both copies of it so it's up to you um, if you want to save it as a you know somewhere else as a different version or overwrite it that's of course going to depend if the file's even there to begin with and also from here you could change the uh, views if you like. You know, I like the details so you could see all the dates and stuff. Or if you want to just have an icon view, you could do that kind of thing. So let's go back to details. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So once you get it running, you'll notice that you'll have more and more of these dates here. And then you could just kind of go back and it tells you how many items in there. So you kind of get an idea if something's changed. And then just go ahead and go into your documents and pick what you want and you know restore your files if needed and that's about it for file recovery thanks for watching